Okay, I'm uh, here with Courtney Salvetti Botonsky and James McFadden Reith. And uh, we'd like to talk about your work on It's Quantum Death com The Final Insult 2. Now, um, famously, you two didn't get on very well during the filming. I think, I think the tension between the two of us has helped produce some of my better work. You say that. When you say your better work, what do you mean? Do you to me, he is nothing but a um, a wall for the film itself to bounce off. I think I carried that film because there was nothing else under it. It had no legs. Why do you think this, Courtney? It was a mess. It was this has this as a production foretold. Nothing was done, right? Well, how can you say that? Because it wasn't. Everything, you were, you were everything that was needed for the film to be made has been done. Hence, it's been completed. How can you argue with the process? The first time you did the film, you did forget to load the camera. I mean... That was the practice. That was to get everyone ready. That was six weeks. of n nothing to show for it. I mean, how does that happen? Six weeks' work that made you what you are I mean, in that film. I mean, you do write, edit, produce, direct, and film. I score. Film. I and score my own music. So how did you not remember to check the camera? I can't be nine to twelve people at the same time. We didn't have cameras for the first day. You didn't need them. You do if you want to make a film. The, a film is a complex process. The end product a camera. doesn't need a camera to capture it. What did you feel on that day you were filming? We weren't filming. There was no camera. We were filming. That's not filming. That's just a group of people standing around pretending to be someone they're not. Filming acting. does generally involve film. They were acting. That's his job. He's an actor. Yeah. He has won a couple of Oscars. Five. What? Um, sorry. Very, very sorry. Um, what made you choose It's Quantum Death Clock dot com The Final Insult 2? I haven't done anything for a while. It struck me as it could be good. It could. Had you read the script? Someone I knew had read it. You hadn't read the script? Was it? What? What? It didn't? Didn't you? Couldn't you tell? That well, shows your level. I mean, when you turned up drunk, not knowing your lines, for the five characters you were playing, I was a little insulted. Didn't matter, there was no camera. That was after six weeks. You still yeah. didn't know your lines. You were that Taiwanese girl. Don't bring canoodling. Don't bring canoodling. Canoodling. Right, that's, that's my Did private life. Canoodle? Yeah, your private life was on my camera. Why were you filming When your then? camera was there. Why are you filming? We're making a film. I know, but... We don't we film everything. We do. It's an experience. Everything that is part of that moment was captured. People have complained about your filming them on the toilet. The bathroom cam was to capture someone at their most relaxed. What about the shower cam? The shower cam, some have argued, had taken it too far. And the up-toilet cam? There was no up-toilet cam. There was. There was a... There was a steady cam, right? Which is meant to be mounted on people's shoulders up the toilet. In the women's bathroom. It was destroyed. Why were you in the women's bathroom? I was told about this. I went to investigate. With your Taiwanese friend? Yes. We both had a look. She was equally shocked as I. Shocked as well. What? Was it? And I'm sure that's not all she was. Um, I can see that smile on your face when you, you turned up to production. This is my film. Do you know who you're working with? Or who you were working with, at least. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't get this with Spielberg. You've never worked with Spielberg. I was working on a production next to Spielberg. I saw him once. I worked with Lawrence Olivier. Did you? Mm -hmm. Well, look what happened to him. He's dead. Did 
to yeah. kill him. That's the rumor. It's one of his later films. 